Hi there, this is Jared with uh, Brandon Wong Pickups, and welcome to Rewind Time with Brandon Wong Pickups. Uh, I did a few rewind times last week, and unfortunately we lost footage of it because the microphone was all crackly and there was a short in it, so I had to fix that. Uh, but it is fixed. Uh, this is a, a Dearmond pickup made by Row Industries uh, out of Toledo, Ohio. Um, I'm actually from a small town near Toledo, um, but it was shorting out and it needed to be rewound, so that's what we did. It was it was about, I don't know, seven and a half, so we rewound it to about 8K. And um, these are really interesting, and they're copied a lot, and there's only a few versions that other winders are building that actually have the the screw in and out all Nico pickup capability like you see here. Each one of these screws here controls, you know, the height of these cylinder all Nico pickups that go, you know, in and out of the pickup so you can adjust the string height uh, one by one. That's really useful if you have strings that are louder than others. But um, yeah, this was not that bad of a rewind uh, the disassembly can be kind of a pain uh, as you can see these screws don't really look factory because what they did back in the old days is they would they would smash after the screws are through you know where they needed to be they would smash those holes that way if somebody was adjusting and they just kept screwing it out you know out and out and out the uh, you know that jig that's holding the uh, magnet it would not come off the screw it was kind of a, a safety thing so when you want to go to take it apart to rewind the bobbin uh, it's kind of a pain because you have to cut the screws but look how long they are still there's no way that anybody would ever need to back the screw down that far the pickup you know it it doesn't function that way it the magnets need to be you know fairly flusher above the actual pickup itself in order for it to work correctly so um so we did that i put a nice fresh new lead on it so what i like to do is when it comes to putting on new leads uh, most of the time the customer doesn't let me know if there's an existing pickup along with the one they send so um, instead of trying to get a hold of the customer and having a few more days of communication uh, I'll just go ahead and, and uh, put a three conductor wire on the pickup so the bear is usually on the you know the metal part and the black is the start lead white is a finish lead that way you know if they ever wanted to pair the pickup with a different pickup or uh, any phase problems you can easily switch the black and the white um, wire there and that should take care of your phase issue if you ever have one anyway uh, we'll show you a short video of this on the winder being rewound um, it's a fairly you know painless rewind uh, as far as putting the bobbin on the machine and all that kind of thing so uh, rewound with the uh, I believe it's 42 or 42 5 makes a lot of sense and uh, I think we use 42 5 uh, to get this back um, some old pickups they will fill the whole bobbin up to the point where there's you know wire coming out of the sides and they don't tape it you know to where all the wire is covered and that's where you have a lot of problems um, so that's why whenever I do a rewind job I make sure the wire is tucked into that bobbin um, just to kind of eliminate any future boo-boos, you know, down the road. Because there's a lot of guys out there that like to get into the guitars and look at the pickups and handle them and, oh, what's under here type of deal. And then they don't know what they're doing and they ruin the pickup. And uh, I guess that helps keep me going. But, uh, you know, honestly, especially when it comes to old vintage stuff, I would just rather people know what to do and what to expect so anyways if you have an old pickup that needs rewound even if it hasn't worked in 30 or 40 years it doesn't matter we can repair it uh, go to brandonwoundpickups.com and go to the rewind page 
And um, if you have any questions, email me or call me, and uh, the address is there. So thanks so much for watching another episode of A Rewind Time with Brandon Wound Pickups. And uh, I hope to see you on the next episode. Hi, this is Jared from Brandon Wong Pickups. You may also know me from the Guitar Knobs. Uh, Brandon Wong Pickups is BrandonWongPickups.com. Go there, check out my products. I do rewind services. I do a uh, wide range of mods, um, all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, also, check the Guitar Knob podcast out. Uh, go to theguitarknobs.com or go to look for Guitar Knobs on. Uh, YouTube and every episode we ever did uh, is on the YouTube channel now. Uh, they may not be in order as far as date is uploaded, but they're all there. Trust me. Anyway, thanks very much for watching the show. Enjoy it.